guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into the video today, we wanna to ask you guys to please like the video and also subscribe to the channel. And over on Patreon, we have some videos and exclusive content over there as well. So go check that out. My son is 27, my daughter's 22. In October, me and my daughter went to Miami. So while we was there, I decided to go see a plastic surgeon about a tummy tuck. Oh, okay. Get some work done. <laughs> so at the consultation went good, the price was good. I'll get back to the room to tell my daughter how excited I am about to get in the tummy tuck. She was just like, yeah, ma, I think you should do it. We dancing and high-fiving. So I said, you know what? I think you and your brother should help me pay for it. <laughs> and she said, absolutely not. <laughs> Steve, was I wrong for asking my kids to help me pay for my tummy tuck? Well, why, why you want them to help you pay for the Because tuck? they contribute to the problem. So I want them to contribute to the solution. The kids are not responsible for your tummy tuck, your BBLs, yeah. your facelift, yeah. and what have you. That's on you. Yeah. So, and on top of it too, the daughter's over here being like, yeah, mom, you can do it. Go ahead, like whatever. And then the mom turns around and be like, all right, so you can help pay for this. <laughs> you should have kept your mouth shut and not encouraged your mom and maybe encourage her to be like, okay, let's have a healthier lifestyle. Cause most of the time it's just your eating habits and exercising, right? right? So it's, you could have encouraged her in a better way. Okay. <laughs> so since they the damn reason. That's right. Steve. For the, oh, to have the kids. that's like baby weight. How much, how much do the tummy tuck cost? 5,000. 5,000. How much yes. you want them to help with? 5,000 a piece would be good, I think. How your son feel about that? My he... son, he's with it. He want to chip in and help, but it's my daughter we have to convince Steve. How old is the daughter? The daughter is 22. Now she probably thinking after 22 years, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you really can't keep putting this on me now, mom. I was baby weight first year to <laughs> 22 years in, we looking at Thanksgiving. <laughs> we looking at cheesecake. We looking at Hennessy. Because surgery and everything is so normalized now, like, oh, okay, if you have a little bit of fat in your stomach, just go to the, go to the doctor, pay a couple grand, and you'll get that out of the way, and you don't have to work hard to get the body you want, right? right. Everything is just so like, okay, you can pay to get whatever you Quick. want now. Yeah. yeah, right? So it's it brings up this like lazier option. Obviously, it's more expensive, and there's more danger to it. Yeah. They would rather go through that than to go into the gym and actually lose weight. And low key, these older women, are coming for these younger guys, right? You think so? So they're getting the tummy tuck, the BBLs. They're seeing Instagram, seeing what all these girls are looking like with her, To yeah? get the younger guy oh my with the low fade yeah. and the beard. Your son, he'll help out, boy. But I just thought it was a good idea, Steve. Teamwork make the dream work. <laughs> Teamwork make the dream That's work. That's right. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't, if they want to contribute, they can to help you out. Uh, you oh. understand the little girl's pushback though. But okay. you know, she doesn't have any children. No, she doesn't. Yeah, well, she will. And <laughs> she'll be able to feel your pain after a while. Okay. It's baby weight. When are you thinking about doing it? As, as soon as possible, Steve. <laughs> Hopefully by February, March maybe. He's sounding like he's gonna pay for it. <laughs> You keep looking at your kids, folks. <laughs> Adam, just listen to me. They not responsible at this point. It's been 22 years. But I would do it for them, Steve. You've done a lot for them. Right. So of we course you would. each other in different areas okay, of you, our well, life. You don't want to give your mama nothing on it. <laughs> you do a payment plan. How that work? Why is everyone encouraging this? <laughs> when you do it, like, do they do it at a, a, like a little bit at a time? I'm just trying to think when I was 22, I was flat broke. You know what I right? mean? Like I didn't have five grand to just shell out for a BBL or tummy tuck, yeah. whatever the situation is, right? So she should be, as a mother, you should be funding perhaps your children's uh, tuition or uh, schooling, yeah. them transitioning into being an adult versus them paying for a surgery yeah. like i don't know that's just 
That's just weird to me. Yeah, like that money should go to her savings so then she can actually like do like whatever she needs to do for her adult life, you know? But I'm just trying to understand why everyone's trying to play the logic game of, okay, how can we split this money up so <laughs> she can get the tummy tuck? Why, first of all, let's really think back here for a second. Why does she even need to get the tummy tuck? It's a dangerous operation, mm -hmm. number one. Number two, like it's not necessary. She's you could easily to go to the gym. Man. There's no wedding ring on that finger, right? So she probably... Trying to get back in these streets. As quick as possible, Trying apparently. to see Wagwan in these streets. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's like, everyone's just trying to make it seem like this is okay, right? Like, to do the surgery is okay. I get it. Everybody has their own, like, if they want to do surgery, it's on their own will, whatever. Mm -hmm. I understand that. But at the same time, it's like, I wouldn't encourage someone to be like, all right, let's figure out how you it's can do it. It's not a necessity. Yeah. I think that's the underlining issue. Yes. If you had a terminal illness... And, and you we need to get money together. Right. We had to uh -huh. get money together to fund your situation. That's a different story, right? 100%. But yeah. this is cosmetic, right? You can do without. So I think that's the key factor in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little late there. Like, could they do like the lower part <laughs> for 1500 <laughs> and then for 15 more, then we'll do the middle. Now, we're going to leave this here. And then when you come in with the other 15, we flatten it on out. Or how about this? 800, we just push it up. We push it up and, and sew it and cut it. And then you come in with 800 more, we move it a little bit. Now this gonna get bigger and then we at last payment. We, I'm just, I just, I'm trying. I was asking a question. That wasn't the joke I would do because of the movement. I was just, I was throwing that out to see. She's a cute little girl, though. She's cute as she want to be. Pretty look just like a mama. See, that's how you pick somebody. You look at their mama, because that's what you're going to have. Yeah. I done went, my mama told me that a long time ago. I done been over a lot of girls' house, went in and met their daddy and looked at their mama and just went off. <laughs> and just went on, got back on my bike, because this, this can't turn into that right there. Part of me understands, obviously, if she's going to be putting herself out there, she wants to feel attractive and she wants to be looking her best. And I, and I get that. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. Surgery is not always the option that should be the default. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? I understand everyone on Instagram makes it seem like surgery is just in and out and everything's easy peasy. Go to Dominican and then you come back and you're done. Right. Yeah. They make it seem very like everything is fine. It's it can be very dangerous and it should not be your first option. The other component is you got to act your wage. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, that say that. If one you don't again. have the yeah. finances in order to facilitate the operation yeah. or whatever desire that you're looking for, then you can't have it right now, right? Pretty and you simple. need to accept that until you can do better. That's like me going out getting a seven series. Yeah. Damn right, I can't afford it. Yeah, but I'm out here struggling behind the scenes, trying to make payments and um, put myself in in more debt. Yeah, to have a persona that is not real you know what i mean so yeah. i think she needs to have a real conversation with herself to identify where she's at in life and move accordingly yeah no imagine she goes into debt for this i just thought about that right now like imagine you're like i want surgery so bad you're gonna you're willing to put yourself into debt to get the body that you're looking for that you're it's looking like for, yeah Oh my god! And there's so many stories of like once you do the tummy tuck, it's gonna come back. Like if you're obviously if you keep the same habits, the habits are still it's there. gonna come right back. So it's right. not really gonna do much for you. So you're spending five grand right now, and then in three whatever five months time, the tummy's gonna come right back because mm -hmm. you did nothing to change your habits, and you're gonna go back to the doctor, pay another five grand, then you're gonna get your kids looped into this, and grandma and grandpa and uncles and <laughs> oh my gosh, like where's it gonna stop? All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and end this video. Question for you guys. Do you think the children should be responsible for the tummy tuck? Comment below. Let us know.